It's Ask the Judge time once again, and today Judge Larry Thorne joins us for one of our most popular segments. Last time you were here, you were getting ready for Thanksgiving. Now that has passed. Are you ready for Christmas now? No. <laughs> no, not, not even close. Not even close. You know, I want to uh, say I, I appreciate Patrick. He, he got me geared up for mm -hmm. this program because he slammed the gavel when he went BAM! That's right, just I, like yeah. that. We're yeah. going to get cooler weather coming up soon. Yes, and I'm looking forward. <laughs> Me too. Well, here's a question from one of our viewers. My roommates broke into my room, stole and vandalized my laptop over a utility dispute. I secretly overheard and recorded their admission of guilt. Is the audio admissible? Oh, Erica, everybody involved in this uh, is probably going to get coal in their stocking mm -hmm. this year because uh, <laughs> uh, Texas uh, law prohibits uh, recording, uh, as, as this person did, uh, it's a, actually a second degree felony. You cannot uh, record another person uh, without their permission. If, if everybody's standing uh, and talking to one another and you're a part of the conversation, you can record it. Mm -hmm. But if you're not, and this seems to indicate that they secretly uh, were recording, obviously they weren't around him when they were talking about it. So, but uh, I think he's out of luck. If I were him, I'd go to him and say, look, I know you did this. I've got a recording that you did it. And uh, I won't turn you in if you'll, right. uh, because what they did is probably a class A misdemeanor or a, a felony mm -hmm. uh, by messing his uh, computer up or stealing it. And then what he did uh, more than likely is uh, another felony so by recording exactly. them. So, uh, yeah, and there's a case in the news right now with a mom sticking a recorder in her daughter's backpack to catch bullies in action, but she got in trouble. She instead. sure did. Absolutely. Yeah. That's a very good point. Okay, second question. Builder completes his work without telling me the final cost. I finally got an invoice a month later for an amount that I would have never paid. Is there anything I can do? Uh -oh. oh, Lord, how many times? You know, mm. I'm going to make up a new song. C-O-N-T-R-A, C-T, contract, contract, contract. Mm -hmm. You've got to have a contract. Get it in writing. If there, you know, if there is no contract, you're stuck. It's going to be less presence under the tree. You're going to have to pay. <laughs> exactly. Because uh, he did the work. He can sue you uh, for the fair value of his services and mm -hmm. his materials. If there is a contract and it says you are to pay this amount of money and this only, then uh, you may be okay. Right. But usually they've got uh, extra uh, paragraphs in these things that say, you know, these are exceptions, these may come up, this may require this. If it does, I'll get your approval. Mm -hmm. Now, if he didn't get the approval, if there is a contract, and he didn't get approval for the extra work, then they may have a way of defeating this and not paying it. But this doesn't sound good. No, well, the last question is, signed a lease with our landlord saying that the water bill was included in our rent. Now, our landlord is saying that she didn't mean to include that in the contract and wants us to pay for it sep separately. What should our next action be? Well, I'd go to the store and get the uh, manager a Christmas present because they may be out of a job. <laughs> because uh, the manager and the complex are stuck with the, the contract. contract. Exactly. Yes, you Word got it. <laughs> for today. Yes, yes, stuck with the contract and you're good. So you're going to have, uh, what, $50 a month extra for the for next Christmas 12 months? Christmas shopping. Yes, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> okay, thanks. Sure. Lots of fun today. And if you have any questions for our Ask the Judge segment, fill out our form at 12newsnow.com slash ask the judge. Patrick.